Hey guys, John Luxley here. Wanted to show you guys uh, Turmoil, which is a game I've been playing a little bit lately. It's uh, it's okay. It's it's this is gonna sound weird. It is incredibly addictive and also at times incredibly stressful. And yet, you could probably also just play it to relax if you wanted. It's it's kind of a weird. It's a game about drilling for oil. So we'll uh. I'm just gonna start a new campaign because it lets me continue at the very end after you've beaten it, so. <clears throat> Restarting will delete all previous progress. Yeah, I don't care. And that uh, me beating it unlocks expert mode, so we'll go with normal. And uh, I was Joshua, so we'll do this. You get to pick who you want to be. Doesn't actually change anything at the moment, so. Hi there, future oil baron. Welcome to my soon-to-be lovely town. The oil industry will be booming here. Let's get to work. Click on the wagon and I'll show you the basics of oil drilling. So we're going to go through the tutorial just so we know, just so you guys can kind of follow along. It's super easy to learn how to play. And this is Jill. Hop on and I'll take you to the oil site. Ready to go? Yes. Now... <coughs> Welcome to your first oil mining operation. Just follow my instructions and the oil will be flowing in no time. Before you can start drilling for oil, you have to know where to drill. Hire a dowser to take care of this. Put the dowser here to start a search. Nice job. Now give him a bit of time to find out where the oil is. Dum de dum. <coughs> yeah, sorry, I'm still a little bit sick. The, uh, he's found, he found oil. It's time to start drilling. Select the oil rig. Oil can always be found somewhere below a dowser. So place the rig right here. Now, if you noticed, uh, he kind of searches in like a like a wave pattern. The closer to the surface, the closer to the middle of it it'll be. But as you go down farther, it could be off to the sides a little bit. So just, you know, something to, to be aware of. And everything, everything, every single thing costs money. You know, Turning on and off your your oil thing, drilling. Everything costs money. <clears throat> That's where the stress comes in, right? So you can see a little oil deposit right here. And this is Kyle from Left Incorporated. In the future, we'll have a right. But where should you take it? To Left Incorporated, of course. Select the horse wagon icon. Buy a wagon to transport and sell the oil. Put the wagon here. It'll automatically collect oil and unload it at my company. Kaching. Now in the future we'll have... Uh, you could select how many uh, of the wagons you want to go here. And you'll also be able to build uh, little oil storage tanks. This introduction ends when you brought the cash mount back up to 1300 which won't take long. It'll be like another another tank. See, pretty simple. Pretty simple to start with, um, but it does get a little bit more complicated. Nice work. Let's head back to town. There you go. Starting money, earnings, spending, profit. I don't... See, this is not really profit because you spent two grand to start with, but I don't know. Graph's not available. The end of every uh, level gives you the ability to see like how fast you're you're earning your money and then which you're selling to and the average, how much you spent in the breakdown. So if you're interested in um, metrics, this is a game for you. And then the screenshot for your final little thing. Good job, now it's time for the real work. Come to the town hall to meet your rivals and get yourself a parcel of land for your next venture. And as you play through the game, they'll build more and more little buildings, and these are your upgrades. I was expecting you, what can I do for you? Ready for your own parcel of land? Let's take a look at the map. So this entire map, you know, these are the four areas. And uh, we each take one of these, so we're competing against the other three people throughout the game. And that's partly where the stress comes from as well. 
because you want to make as much money as possible with the least amount of expenses because you're going to be competing against these guys. Now, on normal, they're not too bad. They don't make a whole lot of money, but it's actually not the amount of money that determines who wins. But uh, that's getting a little ahead of ourselves. <clears throat> So this is me. Howdy, partner. This dude has been herding cattle long enough to know that nights on the prairie are cold and lonely. I hope earning money with oil is as easy as throwing lassos. Hello there. Does being a lawyer sound interesting? Well, in truth, it's kind of boring and I couldn't handle it. I've got a serious case of oil fever and the only cure is finding oil and cowbell. Delighted to make your acquaintance. I made a nice living in real estate, but it's time for a new business plan. I'm going underground. I don't like to dilly dally, so let's get to work. Buenos dias! I've sailed the world as a, ship as a ship captain for years, and I can't even swim. I don't want to worry about drowning anymore unless it's in money. Okay, assign you to your own piece of land. The first one's on the house. Now let's get to drilling before I change my mind. Good luck. In the future, so this one he gives us land to start with. In the future, we actually have to purchase it and not only... Uh, select which one we think will have oil, but also compete against the other ones because they can outbid us if they so choose. And we can outbid them. So this is the bank. Good day to celebrate the opening of my brand new bank. I've opened up an account for each of you. You can also visit me to view a financial report of your last venture. So you can get a loan. And they're building another, <clears throat> another little upgrade spot. So let's just dig. See, everything costs money. $2,000 to cover the startup costs. You ready to go? So we all start with the same amount. All right, you know the drill. Ha 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 ha. Hire dowsers to find oil and build a rig to drill straight down to it. Now, everything costs money, including the upgrades back in town that you can purchase. And most of the upgrades aren't automatically applied, which is kind of a pain. So you'll get oil or uh, upgrades for uh, drilling faster, pumping oil faster. All that stuff you have to purchase again once you're here. So we'll just uh, drill down a little bit. <clears throat> and see, they're pretty good about like we could click on that to uh, upgrade it if we had the upgrade. It's unwise to sell at the price Left Incorporated is offering now. It's better to first store your oil. Select the silo icon. Now, this is where I got a little annoyed at first. Because... 62 cents per barrel. You never know how much, you know, how many barrels or whatever. Uh, but he's like, oh no, that's a terrible price. But this fluctuates from anywhere down to like 10 cents a barrel all the way up to like $1.30 per barrel. So right in the middle is not bad. And if you don't pay attention and you build and store all your oil in the silo, it'll just drop and then you'll run out of time to sell your oil. So that kind of frustrated me at first. Now, you know, I'm not super efficient playing the game, but I basically just, I basically just sell all the oil. Um, it's probably better to watch the prices and you can maximize your income a little bit that way, especially once you get two. But, you know, whatever. So we have this now. The, oil's the oil price always fluctuates heavily. Keep a close eye on it. If the oil price is to your liking, use this arrow to send wagons to my place. They will then fill up and convert oil to money. If the oil price is getting too low, use this arrow to stop selling oil. Your wagons will unload it again at silos. Levels are time-based. This level ends on March 31st, which is not long. And partly why we're just going to sell, it doesn't matter. Eventually, the levels will get to a year, which is fine. But you could still lose time. And so this is more or less the game. Um, where it kind of comes in, like, who I would recommend this to is, you know, people that like metrics and see we're up to, like, a dollar per barrel. 
um, you know, people that like metrics, people that want to do leaderboard type stuff, because this game does reward you for efficient and smart play. And you do have to pay attention to the, you know, you have to pay, ah, I can't talk. You have to pay attention to the price. A lot of the time I'll be like looking around down here and kind of figuring out where, or trying to figure out where the oil is. While these, you know, while I'm selling to this place and the, see like the price is dropping right now. The one over here, right, right incorporated might be going up. So I'm losing a bunch of money because I'm selling to them instead of, instead of them. So it's, you know, maybe a little bit of a Twitch uh, reaction related stuff as well. And also you have to pay attention, like this one's starting to fill up. If it gets to the top, it could spill, and then you lose money. Not only do you lose the oil that it spills, but you also have to pay fees for cleanup and stuff. So it's, you know, it's an interesting little game. It can be relaxing, but it also, well, might not be. Now, in the future, we'll be able to build multiple, like, network, like, pipe networks. For right now, I'm just gonna build, and we'll get another one. You know. We'll get another couple. And then you have to remember to assign them, otherwise they'll just fill up and either dump it at the, the silo, or just kind of stand there and do nothing. So now we wait. And as you can see, it time goes by pretty fast. You know, about a day every second or two. So it's not, it doesn't take very long to go through a level. You know, and so we can't see the ground, but here in a sec, once the, uh, once the land lease ends, it'll show us where all the oil is and um, what else is in the ground because this game, like these are the basic mechanics, but as we progress through the game, there will be more and more mechanics added, like diamonds, rocks will get in the way, um, you'll have pockets of gas, and just, you know, other, other things. You have to compete with the other guys more directly, and uh, yeah, so it's, it's, it's a fun little game, it can be addictive, um, about halfway through the campaign, I started to get kind of fatigued a little bit because it seemed very similar. And then towards the end, it starts to heat up a little bit more as competition gets more fierce. Right, see, I missed like three things of oil, four, but it doesn't matter because I wasn't able to pump, you know, really any. We could do... Let's do another level, just so you guys can kind of see what uh, the game is like a little bit more. See, this is kind of how normal will go. You know, they lost a little bit of money, but it's fine. They only got a little bit. And if you know what you're doing, especially on normal, you basically can rack in, rake in, I can't talk, rake in the money. Howdy, my name is Fred Metal. He is Metal. That is a terrible joke. I apologize. Are you looking to make your oil mining operation more efficient? Come to my factory to upgrade your gear. Right. So, you can. And so you can upgrade your pipes, you can upgrade your silos, you can branch off stuff. This is your spillage. How long it takes for oil to spill. As you can see, these are expensive. Additionally, let's say I buy the width, right? Um... We'll do that in a second, but you still have to upgrade your pipes when you go to level, so everything costs money. What can I do for you? Land auction. Gather all the tenants together. Are you ready to start the bidding? Num numbers on mined parcels indicate how much oil they had. Right, so I actually had the land with the most, although I couldn't mine it, which is annoying. And something to pay attention to is it's kind of... High numbers tend to group together and low numbers tend to group together. So if I were to go here, like he probably has the best land. Here is probably the worst, but we don't know what the rest of it looks like. So I'm going to go with here. There we go. 
Let's go back outside. Okay, so they bought a couple of upgrades. These are all the different upgrades we've got. For now, we'll just do the width. All right. Let's go. And of course, another 2,000 to go. 2,000 to buy and 2,000 to go. Now on levels will run from January 1st to June 30th. So now we're up to six months and the next level after this will be probably a full year. Looking for another place to sell your oil? Come to me at my place. The price is always right. So you see they're competing. This guy's got about a buck 17. This guy's got 91. And also the prices fluctuate at different rates. This one, right incorporated, is about half the speed of left. Although actually that seems to be changing pretty fast. So maybe this campaign is switched. All right, he's ready. He found some oil. And don't spend all your money at first. You want to make sure you have enough to to purchase stuff. Okay, we found some oil here. If you're low on cash, aren't we all sometimes? You can take out a loan against a very reasonable interest rate. Click the cash counter to open the finance window. Yeah, we're not going to do that. But we can upgrade the pipes. Now they take time to redrill, and they also take money to redrill, of course. And of course, while they're while they're redrilling, you can't actually do anything with them. I love the Western feel of this game. It's the music is kind of chill. You know, the the pumping of the oil is very, you know, rhythmic. It's just it's just nice. Um, what gets me at least is the time. And the fact that it's like the money. Oh, I'm running out of money. Oh my God, what am I gonna do? And see, this is getting up to the top. You know, if it gets to the top, then it gives you a little timer, which you can upgrade for a fee. Um, actually, I think the timer is a passive upgrade. It doesn't tell you which ones are passive or active, but. See, there we go. We got to get there before it overflows. Come on! Buy a couple more wagons. Eventually you get to the point where you can upgrade your, your wagons. By the way, dowsers. You know what a dowser is? A dowser is a stick. It's kind of like a Ouija board. You hold it out in front of you and you're like, oh! I felt it go this way. There's oil here. Although in this case, these guys are actually accurate. Dowsers in real life, not. Not accurate at all. Because it's all, it's all fake. It's, you know, you hold it out in front of you and, and you're actually doing the movements, but you believe. So we almost overshot that one. As long as you get within the ring, you can get it. So, oh, hang on, see, we got to switch. This one got above, and that one dipped down in price. So we'll, uh, and we'll upgrade these, because time, time is money. You know what's really sad is uh, there was some company that sold... Oh, see, we spilled, which means we got... You're spilling oil. Fix it by buying new wagons or by reducing the number of wagons selling oil. Well, that... I don't think that works either because it'll still mine it. I think he means they'll pull it to a, a silo instead, but... But the reality is, why would we... Uh... Okay, so this one's dry. That will actually kind of help a little bit because they'll be able to pull up. Yeah, the best one of the best upgrades you can do is the the wagon upgrades. Oh, and this one's going down again, and that one's going back up. But no, the uh, there's some company that sold something like ten million dollars worth of dowsing rods to the army or to the Department of Defense, I think. 
when they were, uh, you know, they first started the Iraq, the Operation Iraqi Freedom or whatever. And that's, that's pretty sad. Like, I can't, whichever senator or congressperson approved dowsing rods to find weapons of mass destruction, like, what? <clears throat> like, what are you doing? And I'm gonna upgrade that, because all these others are dry. I could have taken this and pulled it over, but... But, you know, I didn't know for certain that uh, it would... Maybe it would have been above or below. Alright, so, switched back over to this one. Got that. We got some decent money. This time. But yeah, I'd be I'd be curious to know who approved that purchase. Or it's possible there was like uh, some kickback involved, like, oh hey, uh, you know, I have this company and I'm gonna I'm gonna sell this quote unquote equipment. You know, if you if you, you know, friend congressperson agree to purchase it from my company, I'll slip you, you know, ten percent of the profits as a campaign invest campaign funding. Like that's just I assume that's what happened, because I would like to think that people are corrupt and not just dumb, but well In reality what probably happened is is the company was like, oh yeah, we have this new equipment that, you know, will find weapons of mass destruction. It's super technical. I couldn't possibly explain it to you. You know, I, it's, it's, they're smarter people than me. I don't even understand it, you know. So just, just, it works. You know, I just need to sign this bill for $10,000 or $10 million. It might have even been more. I don't even know how much it was. That, you know, it was probably something along those lines. I don't know, which is worse in that case, stupidity or uh, corruption? One, you can fix the corruption. I mean, you can fix that. You can't fix stupid. We'll just get to the end of this level and then I'll show you guys the, uh, the graphs and stuff. And then that'll be it. Now, I think the actual price of this thing, the full price, it's a $10 game by itself, which I'd say is a pretty decent value for the money. I, I put about 10 hours into the campaign. Um, you know, so about a dollar per hour, which is fine. And I had a good time. Um, the There is an expansion, the Heat is On, which I think does some extra mechanics. I'm not, I haven't tried it, I'm not familiar with it, but... Um, you know, there's there's probably extra stuff, and that's another five bucks, and that's probably worth it. Oh wow, that's that's a good size little pocket. Yeah, but it's fine. Yeah, spillage fine, about seven hundred bucks. I think it's it goes up. You know, there was one where it spilled about that much or less, actually, like one little spill, and it cost me like twenty grand. So it's got to be a percentage of your earnings or something, but. There's your graphs. Oh, hey, we got a little chart. Profit over time. Spendings. Wow, this is awesome. Left price, right price. See? Yep. One is slower, one is faster. That's cool. I didn't know there was... I didn't really look at the graphs, to be honest. Earnings over time. Certain number of barrels sold. Spending. Most of it's going to be on pipes. That's just the way of it. And then, you know, your screenshot if you want to... If you want to do that. And then profits. This is about how it normally is. Nice to meet you. I'm Edward and a bit of a handyman. I like to experiment with stuff that can help you find oil. Make sure to check out my inventions. We'll do that. This is the stables. There's a... Uh... They build a bar right here so you can bribe the oil guys. You know, in different depth grade upgrades and speed and scanner and all that stuff but yeah so that's that's basically this game it's um 
like I said, it did take me about 10 hours, so I would I would say that the 10 bucks for it is fair. It's a fair price if this is something you're interested in. Uh, there's obviously the leaderboard right here. Um, you know, I can't really tell you guys if it's for you. If you're a leaderboard type person or a metrics or efficiency type person, you know, you want to keep play, playing through games to get the, the highest score or whatever, then this game is probably for you. Um, I'd say it's pretty average. I mean, average as in appealing to people. It's, I think it's got kind of a, you know, semi-broad appeal, I would say. Um, the only issue is that I found, at least with it, aside from getting kind of boring in the middle, because once you learn all the mechanics, boredom starts to creep in. But then you get towards the end and the competition actually heats up. Because it's not about the money, it's about... Um, well, eventually you start purchasing stock of the uh, of the world or the land, and uh, whoever gets fifty percent first wins. And so you're it's an auction, so you're bidding against the other people, and that kind of that's a kind of a game changer. Once you know, even though they don't get as much money as you do, they also don't purchase the upgrades, and the upgrades are super expensive. So a little bit of a game changer there. Um, but yeah, you know, I tentatively recommend it if you're if it looks interesting. Um, maybe wait for it to go on sale. But even if not, it's I would say it's a fair price. Uh, but the only issue, aside from the slowdown in the middle, is the game. The game is stable. There are issues sometimes with it exiting, and with um, like in my case, I have a dual monitor setup, so I I started getting bored and I put up a uh, you know just. I was watching the uh, Dark Souls 3 playthrough since I'm done with my own of the uh, the Super Best Friends. So I was kind of seeing what they were doing and put that up on the second monitor. And uh, this game does not like that. You know, it tried to crash sometimes or, or, you know, the exiting sometimes freezes. So it's, you know, a little sketchy there, but everything else seems to work. So that's it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I mean, it's not the most exciting thing in the world. I will freely grant that, but it's it's interesting to play. And once the um, you know, relaxing at times, tense other times, the auction stuff especially. But but that's it. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. I really do appreciate it. I hope to see you guys next time. Still don't know what I'm doing. I mean, for the next playthrough, plus in general. But uh, you know, that's. <laughs> That's just me. Anyway, I do hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care.